The racial dot map, created by the Walden Cooper Center Demographics Research Group in 2013, displays more than 308 million dots, one for each person at the location they were counted during the 2010 census. Each dot is color-coded by the individual's race and ethnicity. The map can be zoomed into state, county, city, and neighborhood levels. The racial dot map has received more than 7 million views worldwide and has been featured in National Geographic, the Smithsonian Magazine, Wired, Slate, and the Washington Post, among many other news outlets. It has also been highlighted in several books, including 2014's Best American Infographics. Most importantly, the racial dot map has been embraced by communities across the U.S. The racial dot map enhanced my teaching in a variety of ways. I used it to teach students about redlining, various forms of housing segregation. I literally can't imagine how to talk about communal segregation without it, because students know that their communities are segregated. What they don't fully understand is why. And I think the racial dot map was crucial for helping my students understand the why. So the Center for Community Progress is a national nonprofit that specifically helps communities deal with the challenges of systemic vacancy. Those that are most directly impacted by vacancy and abandonment and harmed by that are typically people of color. And the racial dot map has really been a powerful visual tool to be part of that decision-making process and the design of the solution is just incredibly important. And we've seen how that can manifest on the ground and, and create positive impacts. I used to work on this local live political show called Bar Politics. During my research, figuring out the demographics of Dallas, I just happened to stumble upon the map one day and we used it in almost every one of our performances. So if you wanted to do a, a map of environmental pollution over the racial dot map, you'll see that Dallas, much like most major cities, has the highest level of pollution in the non-white areas. You know, you can hear again that it's a segregated city, but when you see that, you feel that. That guttural reaction that you get is the thing that makes you want to do something about it. As the release of the 2020 census results nears, it is our goal to secure funding to create a new racial dot map using the latest census data. At the Cooper Center, we aim to reimagine public service through collaboration, inclusion, and attention to impact. Your support and sponsorship will make a big difference. The racial dot map is a powerful resource in driving equitable development. The racial dot map is necessary. The racial dot map is invaluable.